So in this episode, um, in this part, um, I'm actually starting out in my basement. Um, I'm making a new inspection panels or inspection panels um, that go on the inboard trailing edge of the wing uh, because there's where you have to connect the um, uh, aileron and the uh, the flap cables and usually you only have like two little holes to get your hands in and it's very hard to um, just by feel to connect anything so um, I talked to my mechanic and um, I've seen this uh, what I'm making is actually I've seen on other uh, airplanes before so my mechanics agreed uh, that's something I can do so so now I'm working on it and this is how it looks like so this is the panel that would mount under the wing uh, on the trailing edge on the root of the wing so I laid everything out on this piece of material and I actually cut it out already um, so what you see here is this line, this half inch here, that would be the butt rib. And this half inch of material uh, I'm gonna bend up later, so it kind of wraps around the rib. Um, this would be from here to here. That's the first bay. Uh, so this would be the second rib. Then from here to here would be the third rib. And then this is out the fourth rib. Um, so this, the uh, this is the hole I'm going to cut into the metal so that will be roughly about the size of the inspection panels later except there will be a, a frame uh, that I just drew out here um, so here from here 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 so this is basically a frame that I also still have to make and the frame will be riveted uh, basically around this hole here and then I will make plates so the size about what I'm cutting out here, or exactly the size that I'm cutting out, that will then with the uh, uh, number six screws will just be screw onto the uh, this 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 sheet metal here. Uh, it will make more sense uh, when I get it all together. Um, but anyhow, so this is what I'm working on. Um, uh, at first, when I start laying this out, I thought maybe I made a mistake because the the distance from the first rib to the second rib. To the third rib was equal but then for some reason this distance was shorter and I thought I made a mistake when I took the measurements on the airplane but luckily I have the um, the CD with all the drawings for the airplane so I went upstairs quick fired up my computer and sure enough uh, the dimensions are on the drawing so I double checked so what I measured yesterday in the hangar from the center of the butt rib which is the first rib to the second rib is exactly what the drawing says and then also to the third rib and then yes then the next dimension is actually shorter than the other two so everything is fine so i laid everything out here uh, and i also drilled the corner holes already um, so now i have to cut this out and i have very simple tools uh, i don't have a sophisticated workshop um, so I'd, um, i cut everything out with like just this uh, sheet metal cutters here, um, which are also, here's the one that I used to cut out of this piece of material here. Um, I have a, just a simple drill press, uh, grinding stone, belt sander, um, and then just basically hand tools, uh, but that is all you need to make something like this. Um, to cut this out here, um, I have this nibbler here, so I will show here in a moment how I set this up to get a straight cut um, so that you guys can see that with just simple hand tools you can actually make uh, some inspection panels like this. So here's the first cut I did with this nibbler. Um, as you can see it's very straight. Um, so I'm going to set up the second one now and I'll see if I can actually videotape it so you guys can see how I use the nibbler um, to cut out this holes in the sheet metal here but uh, as you can see it's a very straight cut so I'm just using this piece of wood here for as a straight edge um, I set my nibbler in here and the distance from the line to the edge of through the wood for my nibbler has to be nine millimeter um, so just use my uh, calipers here and uh, 
make sure if everything is parallel. And then I just run the nibbler. And this is how it, how it went. So, can very straight line. So happy with that. So just a couple more to go. So after a good day in the shop, um, I've got all the parts cut out for my new inspection covers. So uh, I got everything cut. So tomorrow I go to a friend of mine who has all the rivet equipment and all the rivets. So I can rivet everything together and then I can put it in the airplane. So let's see what I've got here. So this is the piece that will be mounted to the uh, underside of the wing. Um, so probably I'm just gonna use a couple of screws to uh, screw to the ribs, and then of course the um, uh, the stitching um, when I do the fabric stitching will also hold it on. Uh, I still have to bend up the the ends here, so half an inch on this side has to be bent up, and one half inch on this side has to be bent up. And then, so this is, these are the new inspection holes. So here, are the covers. So this would be the cover going on this side. Here. And then I have the cover going on here. And so we are looking right now, this would be on the inside of the wing. So to hold the covers in place, in place I made these frames here. Um, so they basically will be, these frames will be riveted to this plate here and then nut plates will be around the perimeter to hold the inspection covers in. So same on this side here. So the actual hole then that I later have to, uh, available to work through to get to the um, uh, aileron cables and the um, uh, the uh, bell crank for the for the flap um, is actually this big so I can get my whole fist in there you can actually get with two hands uh, in each in the first and into the second bay of the, of the wing so it will be a big improvement so again tomorrow I'm gonna rivet everything together and then it's ready to go onto the airplane good morning uh, I've made some good progress here um, I actually just flipped the wing around uh, Put the uh, fuel tank in, and I also made my inspection panels. Uh, I will show them in more detail here in a moment. So I was just uh, pressure testing my fuel tank uh, here because I put the fuel center in, connected the fuel lines, and everything. So I want to make sure everything is um, uh, nice and tight. Uh, so what I do is uh, I tie a little balloon to the outlet, uh, fuel outlet here, and now I can pump up the balloon or, or pressurize the system and when the, floor, when the balloon is about the size of a good tomato it's about enough pressure and then I just use uh, some soapy water and I spray it everywhere and uh, everything is tight so I'm also going to show the show you the fitting that I use uh, for the pressure testing. So let's take a look. So here's the balloon that I tie around the, um, the fuel outlet. And well, the wing is upside down right now, but um, here's the, I made an adapter and I used to have uh, access to a 
machine shop. So I use this adapter here. Um, take this off here to pressurize the system. So of course now this is the underside of the wing and here are the inspection panels that are made. Um, so now there's plenty of room to work in there, to go in there and connect the flap and also the ailerons later. And uh, this will be mounted here and this will be mounted here. So my mechanic just came by and uh, did the pre-closing uh, of the wing inspection, so everything turned out fine. Uh, but what I have left is, uh, now since it's laying upside down, you know, on the false spa, there's still a lot of uh, stuff that I have to clean off. Um, and also the bottom of the leading edge, uh, now I can clean. And then uh, hopefully tomorrow I will start putting uh, fabric on. So the day has come that the ring is ready to be covered. Um, I got the green light from the uh, mechanic. Um, he did the uh, pre-closure inspection. Um, we got everything cleaned up, everything secured, everything done what I wanted to improve on the ring. So um, what is left now, the next task is taping it, the bottom side up. Uh, over all the screws and everything, uh, anything that can cut um, or vibrate in the fabric. So I've gone ahead and uh, uh, fitted the piece of fabric that goes over the butt rib. Um, of course I have the extra few pots coming out here and here for the uh, auxiliary tank and then here um, I need to get to the bolt when I put the main tank back in. But overall looks good so I think I can start gluing that in place um, and then on the other end, it's pretty straightforward. I, I don't have a big, uh, the wing bow, just a flat rib. So I just cut a straight piece of fabric uh, that's going to be just glued to the top edge and the bottom edge here of the uh, of, of this wooden rib. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, start putting the glue on. So yesterday uh, I got the butt rib and the tip covered, um, so I shrunk this, this is all good now. So I just went ahead, marked my glue line on the leading edge and I put glue all around the perimeter of uh, the ring and I cut out the nice piece here, big piece to do the bottom of the ring. So that's what we're going to do right now, so let's get the fabric attached to the ring. Um, and then 
we can go to the shrinking. And then later today's uh, friend will come by and we put the ring on back on the rotisserie. So I can flip it over and uh, do the top of the ring next. So got the bottom cover on, so got it all glued around all the edges. There's uh, the landing light cut out, um, the tip rib, which of course will be hidden by the uh, dwarf wing tip, and then here along the false bar. So now. The next task is uh, to actually do the first shrink at 250 degrees. Um, so there is actually already pretty good tension on it for that it's not shrunk. Because remember, um, I don't know if anybody knows, but uh, fabric will lose about 10 or shrink about 10%. Um, so I think it's like a 13 foot ring here so uh, one and one third of a foot will actually shrink so that will give after you do the final shrink of course so that will give a good uh, should give a good tension to the fabric So the bottom of the wing is done, uh, down to the first shrink. Uh, this is only the first shrink, uh, 250 degrees. Uh, but this is where you get, I think, the most of the, uh, uh, where the fabric actually uh, tensions the most. Um, but there's still a 300 degree shrink coming. And then, uh, uh, of course, the big one is uh, the last one with 350. Um, here, the uh, wing strut mountings and even with all this tension the fabric is actually not ripping or anything uh, but that's going to be the next task uh, cutting this open making a patch going around here um, so here's the wing uh, the landing light opening so I was le first a little bit concerned because I had quite a few wrinkles here in this spot here but uh, everything came out just fine so I'm happy how, happy how it turned out. Um, here again is the fault spa. Um, this is the uh, fuel drain and the auxiliary tank. You need to cut that at one point and put a patch around uh, before I do the final shrinking. So everything looks good. So it was a good day. So either later today or early tomorrow morning a friend will come and we put the wing on the rotisserie so I can turn it over and do the other side.